Hey, Linternet. It's Paul. It's Matt. We're back for a bonus uh, Season 7, Episode 3 video. Yes. Uh, in this one, we're going to uh, talk about Varus in particular. And uh, what brought this up is um, some of the other sites on the uh, web, uh, What the Flick, New Rock Stars, to name two of them, have kind of come up with this postulated, is uh, Daenerys being sabotaged? And they're, they're, the reason they're asking that question is because Tyrion, who is presented to us as this genius tactician, is has made a series of blunders. And so their thought is maybe he's making blunders because someone on the inside is telling their plans to the Lannisters. So that's, that's kind of where the internet is going. And I am at least partially on board with that theory. And my thought is the inside man is Varys. And here is where I'm going to talk about that. Okay, so here we go. I'm already getting the humor looks, the humoring me looks from Paul. Paul will have his ability to call me an idiot. I'll just, I'll, I'll say my piece real fast, real fast, as fast as I can. And then Paul will tell me why I'm horribly wrong. Okay, yes, maybe. Unless I convince you, which yeah, in this who, case, who this knows? could happen. And Paul might be like, what? That's it. You're right. That's it. You figured it out. Why didn't you write this book? Okay. So, uh, first of all, if you go back to our theory videos from pre-episode, uh, pre-season seven, one of the things I mentioned at the time was uh, the one character that I can't really place and that wouldn't shock me if he did anything is Varys. Okay. Like most of them, like if Cersei ended up being the hero, right. I'd be like, whoa! Or if Jon chopped the signs the of his head off and declared that he was evil, I'd be like, whoa! Yeah. But with Varys, nothing, you know, if he was, I mean, he, he claimed he's a good guy, but I get it. But if he turned out to be a villain, it wouldn't shock me. That's no. the guy. It's, oh, that's wow. the guy. That's wow. the one guy in this whole thing that's like, I can't really figure out his mm. entire moral code. Wow. And so I said that originally, and I and the reason I said that, at least part of it is, you know, he has this, you know, he's called the spider, for one thing. <laughs> and because he has a whole network of spies, his blur birds, and usually someone who's called the spider and has a bunch of spies isn't necessarily a... You know, and he's not an altruistic character sure, by any means. Sure. He just happens to be working for the right side in this case. Right. Um, uh, and he also holds a lot close to the vest. Like yes. we don't know a lot about him, and so when you don't know, you fill in the gaps. Sure. And so you, you know, anyway. So I filled in the gaps a little bit with him. I'm like, hmm. But so, for instance, just dig, going back real quick to season six. This kind of started with season six, and the reason I was questioning him a little bit was, if you remember when he. Um, took Tyrion. He fled King's Landing with Tyrion. Yes. Um, and they went and pledged the allegiance to Daenerys. Yes. And so Daenerys then went off and kind of uh, Varys and Tyrion were left to kind of run the city. Sure. Um, and part of that running the city was let's get these slavers to stop trying to kill everyone. <laughs> right. And Tyrion has this plan and he meets with the slavers and he's like, here's what we're going to do. You're going to stop doing the slave trade in a, over a number of years sure. and we're going to do this thing. Yeah. And that plan falls apart. Right. There's more riots. Yeah. Uh, Varys, um, I've seen her remember, I think he, uh, they capture uh, one of the sons of the harpy who's like a prostitute. Sure. And then, but he, he interrogates her personally without anyone else around. Okay. And we don't hear what she says. All we hear is Varys going, this is what she told me. That there's one head of the harpy and we need to stop him or whatever. But okay. we don't hear her actually saying No, that. we don't. Um, then when it seems like Tyrion and Varys are on the trail trying to figure out Varys, all of a sudden, really, literally all of a sudden, all the boats in the harbor are on fire. Okay. There's, a, there's like a sneak attack on the harbor. Okay. And so all those things, like... Just let like somebody. It seemed like somebody was one step ahead of them all the time. And if it was Varys, he 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 would be in the know of things and could could sabotage all the plans that were happening there. He could be if he was his, okay. if it was such a mind. All right. Okay. Um, also, that was kind of the start of. Up until that point, I think Tyrion had made a series of probably the right moves. I mean, he'd been captured a few times and found his way out. But generally speaking, up through season five, Tyrion had found a way to kind of make the right moves. Starting season six, probably right about there, 
he starts his his tactical genius starts coming into question. Hmm. The the slaver stuff does not go right. He has to get bailed out basically yeah. by Daenerys coming back and helping him out. Right. They come across the sea, and now they're in season seven, and he's got these these military plans that sound feasible when he mentions them, but they've all gone wrong. Okay. Um, and it does suggest an inside man, and uh, because I don't know, really, Jamie is a very good soldier. Yes. I don't think of him necessarily as a tactician as much no. as like he's a good military man. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it seems like they've been kind of lucky that they were like, oh, we just happen to have this navy in the right spot, and then oh, and you did the thing. I don't know. It just it seems like he someone did was telling him the fact that he did the thing that Rob did. True, true. Yes, he did, but he also had to know that <laughs> Tyrion was going to attack Castle Rock, which seems. Well, that's where they are, right? They're in King's Landing, really. Oh, well, okay. I mean, but still, okay. Just saying, I, that doesn't that that statement does not preclude the fact that Varys might be aiding them. I, I good point though. Well done. I uh, mean, Mr. that's Martin. one of their main points. Right, one right. of the main places. I mean, so so um, so we go to season seven. Okay, so what are some things? So I, even after all that in season six. Coming into season seven, I still when when we did the theory video, I was like, I don't know, he, I, nothing would surprise me. That was kind of where I was. Yeah, I think I'm leaning more towards the I, after seeing some stuff in season seven, a little more towards that Varys might be a double agent, and part of that start, starts with the thing that we we argued about a bunch in the first episode uh, was Daenerys calling him out. And I was like, why is she calling him out now? This seemed like a weird timing on the thing. Oh yeah. Um, I was now thinking that was the part that set up for exactly him being a spy. when she says, "Hey, if you uh, if you turn on me, I'm going to burn you alive." Okay. Ah. We then in episode three, yes. we hear what I think is a near cert certitude that he is going to die. Okay. When Melisandre says, "Sure, you're going to die uh, here in the West." As a result of this battle for the, no, I shouldn't say that, but that's the implication. I mean, well, you're going to die an old man in your bed, and uh, you know, right. we'll, we'll, I mean, right. ooh, a prophecy no. that everybody well, dies. No, but it means he'll die, but, yeah. but presumably early. I mean, right, you know, that's, right, that's unnaturally, strange. perhaps. Yes. So, when you think about, uh, so you've got a statement, two separate statements from two separate people, one saying, you're going to die, and the other one saying, here's how I'll kill you if you, do, if you cross me. Um, if you think of ways that narratively uh, uh, Varys would die. Combat? Probably not. Like, Probably he's not, not a fighter. It would be like punching down. Oh, right, he, no. he got well, in a fight with someone and got killed? Wow. Well, you know, I can imagine, like, you know, somebody storms the place and he's there. And he's just like, like it. right. And okay. then you, well, I should probably just kill you, right? Because yeah. I can't fight you. <laughs> okay. I think I think more likely he's either uh, assassinated or executed, I think. Okay. Either he's taken by the opposition and they execute him or somebody bumps him off. Because it could be like, hey, why don't you go someplace here to negotiate some deal? Ha <laughs> fooled you. Right, exactly. So, uh, Something along those lines. Okay. So taking that into account, we've already heard one way that he could be executed, right. which is he crosses Daenerys right. yes. and she's like, burn you alive. Um, so that... He could just, even be framed. Someone could frame him. Good point, and good point. That would be the extra double cross. Would, we all yeah. think he's the agent, and then it's actually Masanda. You're like, what? <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, good point. It's, you just you just wrote a better book. It's, okay, it's Arya looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> True, and, and, and betraying her, and then oh, I'll kill you now. No, it wasn't me. Oh. Now maybe not Arya, but we we do know there are faceless men. Sure, and we have not seen them used. To the extent that you think one would use a faceless man. <laughs> You'd be like, oh wait, you have the power to mimic literally anybody? And you're really good at killing people. Hmm. <laughs> How can I use that to my advantage? But yeah, so that's even a thought. I mean, somebody could be a faceless man in the in the group. But um, So to carry on with the, the, the various uh, evidence. So we've got... Oh, okay, so. When Ms., uh, Melisandre tells him, hey, you're going to die... That conversation, I thought, was a little awkward as well. In that, 
he's coming at her pretty strong for someone who's just said, I'm going to leave. <laughs> like, like I get the fact that he has a past, oh, uh, you know, the, 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 the red God priests did me wrong back right. in the day. Sure. Pretty, pretty badly. Right. Tortured me. So, okay. That, that could be the, that could just be the reason why he's like, I don't, I don't like you. But. It, let's assume for a second that he is the spy. Okay. You would not want someone who is able to magically do prophecies and be able to basically use magic to read people in in the inner circle. He can do that. Well, I mean, Melisandre. Oh, she knows, like I'm talking about. She, I thought you were talking about Varys. No, no, no. I'm saying that's why he was. Oh, he was very anti anti Melisandre, and like he was th kind of threatened her. He's like, "It's yeah. not safe for your people here. Get it? Get the hell out of Dodge." Um, he seemed very, and then and then there's the line that he makes that he attributes to himself as well when he says something like, "Hey, you and I are commoners, uh, and you know, common folk like us, when we get a taste of power." Uh, it's like a lion getting a taste of man. Right. We can't let it go. No. Okay. He's talking about himself there. Too. I mean, he put himself yeah. into that sure, context. Sure he did. Right? Yeah. So, uh, that, to me, suggests that he has more, more interest than simply an altruistic, I want all people to live in harmony. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Have you laid it out yet? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Because, um, I mean, to me, if this were true, it seems like it should have begun before uh, he freed Tyrion. Right, because he's talking, theoretically, he's talking with the Lannisters. Right. Right, so he perhaps, I mean, now, perhaps his now escape... Now he would be talking to the Lannisters. He's, right. So... That means. I mean, that he is a spy, and he has. I mean, the birds could work both ways. I assume. You know, I mean, he gets yeah, information. Like, who is he working with now? Right. So I, I would, if I had to pick someone, I would say Jamie. Okay, so Jamie. Because Jamie, Jamie helped orchestrate Tyrion's escape. He did. So maybe there's a connection and do there. Do you believe that he thought that Tyrion would kill his father? I do not. Okay, so you think that Jamie. <laughs> Said, okay, why don't you free my brother, go and infiltrate uh, Daenerys, and sabotage her, and then... I'm not saying that Jamie is necessarily that nefarious, <laughs> but I do think that maybe it was a stay with Tyrion, uh, you know, track him, basically. See where he yeah, goes. Yeah. And what we don't know, and, and here's why the theory is... Is goofy is because we don't really know Varys's motivations. He says, "I just like people," and but it we don't. It doesn't sound possible. I think I think for instance, one thing we do know, we saw it. I forgot which season, season five maybe. Sure. When he talks about we we know like one of the few things from his past. Hey, I caught up with the dude who tortured me, and I keep him in this box, and I keep him alive. And I, like, that dude holds a grudge. Sure. Let's just say that. Sure. Like, he has, that's not a, it's not like a rational, well-adjusted person's kind of thing. That's mm -hmm. a, I'm keeping this guy sure. alive to torture sure. him for the rest of yeah. his life in a box that right. I keep secret and I. Very seriously like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, who's to say that maybe somehow he doesn't hold a grudge against Daenerys or her family or I don't know like he did hear words from the from the red god in the fire during that uh, we don't know what they were but sure. when he was tortured he said oh what did the red god say to you right. what if the red god said something like Daenerys will be your downfall or like I don't know it's something or he's trying to avoid his fate no I don't know you know I'm just I'm just throwing because I don't know motivations and that's where this thing lets down is because we don't know the why like why is he doing all this yeah. stuff I don't know that oh. but I do know the guy is. You know, he, he this thing with the key at the guy in the box shows that he is a vengeful, vengeful man. Sure, he holds grudges. Yeah. Um, he's very smart. He is a spy at heart. Sure, that's what he does. Sure. It'd be very easy for him to transmit messages as, as well as receive them. Sure, um, and uh, we kind of just have his word for it in some ways. Yeah. So, 
just saying, you take that in the context with the fact that Tyrion is making a bunch of blunders. Um, you know, a, 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 first the, the idea that there would be an inside man, I think, is plausible. And then who would that be? You've got a series of. That's one thing. Uh, you know, uh, Daenerys has a series of counselors. She's got Tyrion. She's yes. got Missandei. Yes. She's gonna have Jorah soon again. Right. Um, you know, and she's got Varys. Sure. Narratively speaking, it would be interesting if one of those oh, well, counselors is giving you information that's not correct <laughs> um, for whatever reason. I guess. So, anyway, there you go. It's uh, I get, I get it. It's, it's not a slam dunk, but um, yeah. I mean, the reason the the things that I have against it are, um, I feel that th we don't see a lot of somebody betraying or sort of giving you one face and not really seeing the other face for too long okay um so you know it's like it, it uh, would be a long con for right, sure yeah and so you know i feel like that's you know it, if they did that it would come out of nowhere i feel like typically you like to they like to show people like, okay, why don't you do this? And like, okay, hmm, I'll have to figure out how to do it. So when they're doing it, you can be like, oh, are they going to get caught? So in this case, it'd be... Or they show them when no one's meaning. looking and you could see their real right. face. yeah. But in this case, it'd be like, no, we're not going to show you, you know. And the reasons why they're able to get them to decide to do that, we don't need to show you that either. Where it's like, I feel like this show, that's what it likes to do. Yeah, to motivations are important. Why, right. So, I mean, I feel like for him... Um, I mean, I'm satisfied with the motivation that he uh, sort of has been playing the system and he's merely surviving but for himself. And so uh, he, what was taken from him at a very early age motivated him to try to learn the system so he could, you know, uh, get as much for himself as possible. And, you know, uh, I think he is... I buy that he's kind of inspired by what she's trying to do. Uh, you look at the um, uh, Red Wedding, for instance, where that was a betrayal. But you could, you know, it was like, it wasn't that long before he got killed as a result of that betrayal. You know, it wasn't like, you know, you had a lot of, a really long time for that. So, so yeah, I wouldn't like it if that were the case. Or they'd have to sell it to me. And I think, you know, I'm kind of like, eh. So that's my feeling about it. Okay. You know, I, one of the things that people keep bringing up, it's like, sometimes good plans don't work. You know, <laughs> Tyrion came up with some plans and, you know, somebody else came up with a better plan, you know. Um, there's some discussion on whether or not it's uh, Jamie coming up with it and some people are suggesting that it's um, Cersei coming up with it. You know, who knows? You know, she's certainly been abused enough now where she can perhaps not be as stupid as she was before. Um, I think she's more motivated in some ways now because she's not trying to protect her children or, uh, you know, endure a legacy or anything like that. So, you know. One point might be that uh, Varys, as the spy master, kind of seemed to let, I don't know if I'm saying incompetent, but didn't, didn't note that the, you know, the Lannisters were on the move to Highgarden, uh, didn't note... That oh Euron's navy's out there like he didn't Providing. do his job particularly well at figuring out where the enemy was which they're big they're big armies and big right. navies it wouldn't be necessarily that difficult for someone who theoretically has as many spies as he does to sure. go oh by the way oh, yeah. the Lannisters aren't at Castle Rock mm -hmm. they're on their way to Highwall mm -hmm. or Highgarden right. um, so that's a, maybe another little. You know, maybe just incompetent and not <laughs> and not uh, deliberately deceptive, but right, right. but um, you know he could have helped. You know, Tyrion would have been mm. would have would have changed a lot if it were like, oh, by the way, there's right. this overwhelming navy that's between us and uh, Highgarden. Maybe we don't send our navy straight at it and let them die. Um, uh, so that kind of information, I think they're mm. probably relying on Varys for, and he did not obviously give them that. Well, okay, let's say what you're saying is true. How how much time does he got? Um, that's a good question I, because I didn't, you know, one other thing we were talking about endgame stuff when we did our endgame video, yeah, 
one of the people that we didn't really talk about in terms of when they die is Varys. Because, like, he could almost <laughs> die at any time. And it's it, true. Um, you feel like since he's a major character, he would live longer than most. But, you know, if this is a, oh, we're getting tricked, I think the tide is about to turn back. Right? I think, I think Daenerys is going to start winning again very soon. So if and when she does, which could literally be next episode, I think next episode, there's this huge fight, and I think that gold that's coming to help pay off the debts, right. I don't think ever gets back to King's Landing. Really? I think they're going to attack, and the gold's going to get hit. And I so, think... so that's going to start the turn of the tide, where now they can't pay their debts, and they're in trouble. Huh. I'm sorry, what? I think, well, okay, so to me, that sounds like you're thinking, uh, Cersei's not going to make it out of season one. Wait, wait, what? I'm sorry. This uh, this first part of this the the last season that, that you don't think she'll make it past the break. That it sounds like you're saying Cer Cersei. Cer I think Cersei's going to survive. Right. So if she, I feel like then she'll probably be doing well for longer than that. Oh, I see what you mean. Doing well. Well, there's going to be this like we all should unite thing, right? To to take on the Walkers. I right. Think that's the next. Yeah. So when does scenario. that happen? Does that happen? I think she gets mid? defeated, but not killed. Right. Okay. Like her army gets beaten, and she's like, I don't have anything left. Um, but I'm just wondering if, in the context of the tide turning, maybe part of it is there. You know, I would say probably it's Tyrion figures out if if someone's going to figure out that Varys is a spy, it's probably Tyrion, who then says, "By the way, oops, you're the guy giving me bad information," or you know, somehow he does something where he, he puts out like the wrong info, right. and then whatever. I, somehow that maybe gets figured out. So if that's the case, then maybe it's even by the end of this season, Varys gets found out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I don't, I, I feel like, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You I'm feel like it's, it's, I, I'm just not feeling it. I mean, when she says, know. I'm going to burn you alive, that was just a, I mean, that wasn't a, a that's going to happen. That's not, you know, you're just saying that was just her, her a threat, and then yeah. don't cross me, and then he won't cross her. I mean, her. it's possible that, yeah, uh, you know, that, that to me, it seems like she should threat him, threaten him. <laughs> she should threaten him. Don't betray me. So you do yeah. feel like it's in, it's it's in him to betray her. I think it's him betraying anyone. I'm just saying I don't not sure. I think the reason why she betrayed him because he looks crazy. So she tries to tell her that oh yeah you know you wanted me to tell you when you were crazy here I am telling you that you're crazy, and she's like okay you're wrong. <laughs> Maybe I'll burn you to prove it to you. Yeah, I'll burn you to prove I'm not crazy. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, anyway, there we go. I just want to throw that out there. It's a little bonus video. Uh, Varys, double agent or not, you can put in the comments. Feel there free to go, tell man. me how horribly wrong I am uh, I or how horribly fire, wrong man. Paul is. More to the point. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, we'll be back uh, next week. Uh, till then, bye, everybody.